perfect, thank you. If you really want enlightenment, then just lighten up. Alrighty. Now we're gonna have some fun. <clears throat> this particular episode of Paradigm Shift and Education of Comedy is going to be to explain to you, through experience of course, about government shells. These aren't just your regular garden variety trolls. No, 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 let me explain to you how these work, you see. Irregular garden variety trolls actually usually have half a brain, some intelligence, at least somewhat of a life, and, you know, I mean, they still kind of classify as sort of human. Well, government shills are a very special type of troll. Let me explain to you how government shills actually work. You see, because all the bullshit of the world is becoming just so blaringly obvious, and there's so many hundreds of millions of people starting to speak out on the internet yet, you know, it's just like... It exponentially increases, and, you know, there's only so many Nazis in the Fourth Reich that can go and do anything about it, so it's, it's just... You can't have everybody on a list, you know? <coughs> it's just way too much to police. Way too much. So... The paranoia people that have, but, oh my god, they better not say anything bad about the government, or the men in black are gonna, gonna come to my house and you're gonna rape my dog and send me to the Amish to live for the rest of my life, oh my god, that's, you know, that's all this stupid paranoia. They only keep a list of, like, the top, 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 top people they hate. And let's not have a delusion of grandeur to think that you, I, or most people are ever going to be deemed as that important. So, let's put the vanity and the narcissism aside. So, if you were the new Führer of the New World Order, Heil Hitler, and you wanted to make sure to police everybody, but you couldn't do it because there's just not enough of the Superman to go around and go and kick everyone's fucking ass. And then what are you gonna do? Well, you gotta use psychological warfare. So, you gotta wage the dumbest of the dumb against your average sheep. And most people, I mean, especially those in, you know, truth movements and so on that are doing, like, legitimate work. Unfortunately, a lot of them also tend to be incredibly insecure, extremely offended, very arrogant, so the time this little thing fucking sets them off. That's why a lot of these so-called truth movements collapse. And trolls are a big part of that. The government chills, anyway, they're a huge part of that. Because they just, they probe to see, you know, whether or not, you know, you're one of these, you know, serious people that are really making a lot of good progress, some major movement or whatever. And once they target you as one of these, then, I mean, they'll use ad hominems, defamation of character, twisting of context, so on and so forth. But first they gotta probe you to see if you're one of these or not, to see if you're easily triggered. Now me, I'm just a guy having fun on the internet. I mean, I make documentaries, it's fun, you know, educational comedy. Um, anybody it inspires, then, you know, cool, awesome, you know, whatever, but I'm very lighthearted. You know, I also don't think that there's any crime in, uh, making money on things like the YouTube Partners Program and so on. For, you know, putting out free content for everybody to enjoy. Sure, not like anybody's getting ripped off. I put out free content for you to watch, and you watch it, and I get paid. It's not your money that's paying me. So it's all right. So really have no reason to like be offended or bothered by the trolls because it's fun playing. Now, government chills usually have no idea that they're even government chills, to be completely honest. 
me explain you how this works. You know, Uncle Hitler, I mean Sam and Associates and whoever else is up at the top there, they form big corporations, which then have smaller corporations under them until finally down, down, yeah, down on the line of the food chain, Claus with mine. You get these little micro-corporations usually masquerading as market research companies or whatever. Then they go and find the dumbest of the most oblivious, of the most dumb, of the most lifeless, shallow end of the gene pool kind of people. So, you know, you got Billy Joe Bob and his wife, cousin Edith, who, you know, are really broke because this is a bad economy. And even if it was a good economy, they didn't have any work anyway because they're fucking stupid. All they can do is sit there masturbating the pictures of their mother. So, you know, they're pretty much useless to society at all, and nobody wants to deal with them. They suck. So, when they're not clinically depressed and loading up on fucking Prozac, or masturbating pictures of their mom, they might end up meeting some of these nice little representatives from these little market research companies that are like, I tell you what, Billy Joe Bob, 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 here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna pay you, well, whatever it is. It could be $50 an hour, it could be a dollar a troll comment, I mean, I don't know the exact specifics, but needless to say, it's lucrative enough to get these people's attention, and they go, yeah, yeah, all right, oh, that sounds cool. What do we gotta do to make this money? So then they're like, all right. All you have to do is there's this little profile list of types of people we want to fuck with for a little market research thing. And um, when you find these types of people, just you know, talk a bunch of shit. You know, they got this, you know, this little coloring book of, you know, instructions of how exactly to do it. You know, put so simply that a four-year-old can understand it because, you know, that's their basic mentality because they're like, the laugh and jack and jack and talk and listen to the turn. So needless to say, these guys don't even know they're government shills. They're just, you know, cousin fucking inbred shallow end of the fucking gene pool, dumbest of the dumb, most clueless of the clueless individuals. And... I love playing with these trolls, and as you know, usually I can't get any of my own trolls. Usually I like trolls from, like, you know, Donnie Gilson or other people come, and they see that I've, you know, syndicated or mirrored a video or whatever, and, you know, they get on their sexual fetishes for these other people, and I'm just like, man, you know, why wouldn't anybody ever share troll love with me? So, one of these little shills, I mean... Granted, it's, you know, it's, it's not a very, it's not my very own troll to call my own. I didn't get to keep my new pet. And after he, she, it was done, and believe me, this didn't last long. And their, their account name was The Truth Teller! <laughs> How original! And as you can see, uh, this channel was closed and is no longer available. So, they weren't able to get me going, they weren't able to piss me off, I was having too much fun with them. And so they had to cry to mommy and close the fucking channel. And it was rather interesting because they also pulled one of the oldest tricks on the book. Thing is, is I don't really care, I find it funny, it gives me an excuse to just make another video. What I did is I replied all sorts of shit, silly shit to their comments. Notice here. In reply to deleted. In reply to deleted. In reply to deleted. Now, usually what somebody will go and do is they'll just delete their comments. But um this masturbation was apparently so clinically depressed by his you know, a lack of ability to get a hard on off of me. That he just like, you know, closed down his channel and went out in the backyard to go commit suicide. And he was making comments like, you know, because I have, you know, as many subscribers as I do and views and such, and I also mirror other people's videos, that that means I have a fake channel, and, you know, just all this other stupid stuff. And when I just kept making fun of his ass, he was just like, 
Uh, go to bed, boy! <laughs> like all this other stupid shit, it was way too hilarious. So even though I can't, more specifically, share with you all of the stuff that he was posting, I mean, here's one of the things that's everywhere! Okay. Yeah. Original. I will share with you some of the stuff that I posted. <coughs> Near before Zod! Do 25 jumping jacks before Zod! Run 16 laps before Zod! Please be kind, rewind before Zod! <clears throat> of course, that was a Superman parody. Let's do the Star Wars parody. Good! Good! The dark side flow is within you. Strike Vader down and take his place at my side. And we shall rule the galaxy as Big Daddy and Sons Incorporated, LLC, all rights reserved. Oh, Emperor Palpatine for you there. <coughs> and I was saying, As your god, I command you to keep trolling me. Bow to me and give me your true love. I command it, and you must obey! I am your god, you bow only to me! Apparently this guy didn't get the point of Paradigm Shift and Educational Comedy. <laughs> Let's scroll down and see whatever and kind of what the other interesting replies are for me. Because he kept spamming the same comments over and over again, so I kept spamming my replies back. I said, you realize I'm enjoying this, right? I'm, I'm, I, I take I the time you're wasting on my lame ass as a compliment. Please keep it up. That's, That's what I want, want you to do. Let's see. Some of my responses here. I said, this boy fucked your mother, and she liked it. She still owes me 25 cents. That's when he's like, go to sleep, boy. Go to sleep, boy. <laughs> and he was trying to claim that, you know, my subs are fake and everything. I'm just like, you have no vids, no profile, no faves, no nothing. Fake channel. <laughs> you trolls make things so obvious. Can you at least make your profiles two years in advance of your trolling and load it up with related vids so you morons can at least look authentic? R-O-F-L. Oh, well, now he has no channel because he just couldn't fucking handle it. Yep, just can't handle YouTube. It's just too much for Billy Bob Joe and his cousin wife Edis. <laughs> yeah. And then I was explaining, here's the deal. Trolls equals comments. View. Comments equals views. Views equals YouTube partners program. Cha-ching. So get to work, bitch. Be more creative with your comebacks. I know it's hard to pull yourself away from masturbating the pics of your mom and deal with it. Quit slacking off and start making rude senseless comments. You're slacking off on the job, okay? Is that the best comeback you got? Your mama's so fat, Obi-Wan Kenobi said, That's no moon, that's your mama. Come on, you can do better than these old worn out lame responses. Get creative, or am I asking too much? Yep, you're right, so now what? You suck dick for coke? Oh, wait, I guess I'm asking a rhetorical question. Yo, mama's like a bowling ball. She gets used finger and tossed into the gutter. Yo, mama's like a touch lamp a two year old can turn her on. Yo mama's so stupid, she thinks a lightsaber has less calories. And my original comment of, yes, I'm a disinfo agent, didn't you know? LOL. If you don't like someone's opinions, they are disinfo agents. And have fake subs. Just because of one video, they just uploaded it, didn't get any comments yet. You're just so right, can I be your friend for life? Lols. Now the most ironic thing here is, especially when I'm, when I was saying that like, oh, I am your god. Well, you know the ancients would always make ritual sacrifices to their gods, right? <gasps> he sacrificed his entire channel. Isn't that cool? His entire channel. So apparently, 
He was not only worshipping me as his god, but he sacrificed his channel to me in a black mass sigil of digital proportions. <laughs> oh boy. I figured he might do something like this. See, because it's like I always say about perceiving things in a mindset of opportunity versus burden. Now, most people would have been like, Oh my god, that motherfucker replied to him and I did that, and then he went and deleted his fucking channel, and ooh, that bastard, now he's made me look stupid instead of me making him look stupid. What the fuck, that's all bitch. People get all hot and bothered over it. I think it's funny. It just gives me a reason to make another video, which is more views, which is more comments, and so on and so forth. I love playing with the trolls. They're fun. They're awesome. I love me my trolls. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this. Whether or not you're laughing with me or laughing at me, doesn't matter to me. As long as you're laughing. Peace out.